donated by a fellow from New Jersey that others enjoy as I did part of the square. Amidst the trees, breeze, the fallen leaves, gravel and traffic. Sexy stocking dangles past the heels, stop, cross themselves. Pigeons flutter, the group just feet away. Wondering on a month and afternoon, so mild it could be a lost day for a mediocre summer. A nightingale sang here, the heart of Greyfair, her money talks and walks. The wonders passed in suits and shoes, coats and scarves, laughs upon the window sills, bowls along in rollers and in jags. Ten minutes west of Soho's rugged edges, her polished iron pokes from blankets, and busy people scuttle past, eyes dancing in avoidance. In Broadwick Street, a statue stands, sculpted from the failure of the 80s. Two decades since the seeds were sown, the pavements grow in pleasant, harsh realities. The statue, bowed, eyes fixed shut. A bin bag, his wobbly goods, draped across his back. A mother day at Whittington, who ate his cat to claw his way through another day. Fingers clutch a baseball cap, begging for a hungry mouth that barely breathes. He never sways, moves a muscle. Never blinks, never falls. But, like a cow asleep in a field, he would have pushed. It's called Lights Out. It's a cheery little number. Tam's not roasting a good day. It's just the way he is. He's been known to go up to people and ask him to punch him in the mouth. If he's locked in, he won't find any takers. He's a good lad, but there's an air of tragedy around him. So when he arrives to visit my daddy's deathbed, I brace myself. He hands over the grapes and immediately goes into a dreary, hive like mumble. The old man ignores him as much as he can because there's other stuff in his play. He's about to leave this life behind and as he's mentally preparing for the lonely journey, the droning is incessant. Son, he gasps. And I lean towards him to save him expending energy. I'm thinking that he wants to tell me something, something I can hold on to. Son! Ida. See him. See him. See you. See me. Pause for breath. Get him to fuck. <laughs> and that was it. Lights out. <laughs> and this is the same guy, really. Um, it's called Plamf. <laughs> see you, he says. See you. See me. See him. I'll burst a lot of you. See me my day, I'd have burst you one at a time or both together. Nay skin half my nose, all the same to me. Mister, Mister nothing. No, nay near piss your fanny. I'll burst you right now with an arsehole winder. You know what an arsehole winder is? I'll fucking show you in two seconds what an arsehole winder is. I'll take the heat off your fucking body. That's what you're yeah, fucking plan for. <laughs> we just want to know. Want to know what? Want to know what my talk your arse feels like? Why don't you go fuck off? I must have thought your whole, you first, then him. I think you get the wrong idea. Wrong idea? I'll wrong idea you. I'll burst your stupid looking coot with my fist, your stupid looking fanny. <laughs> what are you? You're a stupid looking fanny, you fucking fud. Come here a minute and I'll show you who's got the wrong idea. We only want to know. Why don't you know what? See me, see you, see him. Or slaggy good looking, you ugly pair of bastards. You think I would? You ever felt an arsehole rider? You'll feel one in a minute. I want you to be here to next Tuesday, you pair of fucking plants. <laughs> you, you only want to know if you need a windy cleaner. <laughs> windy cleaner? Ah, oh, hi, I did something. Sorry, son. I need a windy cleaner. I thought you were somebody else for a minute. How much is it for a windy cleaner these days? <laughs> <laughs>